back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Success is our own shadow. Don't try to catch it. Walk your own way. It will automatically follow you. Remember, shadow follows you only when you walk towards brightness. Walk one, my people. Open body now. Okay? Me say them all and pan to cook. People wonder what they're going to do under them. news. Don't reach out. They say people. Nobody rush the news. You understand? Remember, package news be David. So, I can take my time and give under the news. A man has been charged after the front and wearing screen of an unmarked police car was damaged at the Maypen Police Station in Clarendon. Joseph Solomon, a 21-year-old delivery man from racetrack in the parish, was arrested after he reportedly caught on camera using a chair to hit the car, which is registered property of the commission of police. Joseph, not like Joseph in the Bible, has been charged with malicious destruction of property. The police did not provide a court date for the accused. It's reported about 11 p.m. Joseph and other family members were at the police station where his 29 year old brother was held by the police. The brother was taken to custody as a suspect in a case of simple larceny. Police said while at the station, the family members became irate. A metal chair from the waiting area of the precinct was used to smash the front and back windscreen of a grey Toyota Carola motor car assigned to the Maypen CIB. The police said following the criminal act, Joseph immediately rode from the compound on a bicycle. However, CCTV camera at the station showed him carrying out the act. Attempts by the police to find him proved futile, but family members brought him back to the station where he reported and admit to the officers after he was confronted with the CCTV footage. I slap, I slap him, cross him head back. That is all, no should I do, I slap the family member them with too. You understand, you say what I said, I mean what I said. And guess what people? You don't know me already, I now nah, take you back. Here we go on, boy, we go on now, people, cause me say. Me tell you, say them catch two coat, don't it? Here we go on for them. Lester and Andrew Cook, yes people, them turning themselves. Lester handed himself into the police on Tuesday. And Andrew, otherwise called Rahim, surrendered to lawmen on Thursday. The men are currently being interrogated by police investigators. Biggie that police them, can them all let them go. Remember them a police and a nonsense, you know. You understand? Me always tell you, you know, put the boy them in a box. You know, I talk about, you know, and them for questioning. If you ask them full full question, what is your name? What is your date of birth? Where you live? Where were you on this day? Who you was with? Yeah, them already have all of the answer them put on already. No off the answer no car. Uno see them one, tell them the question when I got asked. Things them you know, uno get pay off. Anyway, yeah, so the next 24 you them, me now want none of them turning myself. Real bad man are turning themselves to police. Real bad man wait until them say police, them shoot off of them. Ask Peke Boy no man, just channeling Peke Boy spirit and ask him. And see what going on. And him, I tell him the truth. Ask that part of them. Let me tell you no. Anyway, let me tell you who else I look for. Michael Christopher Cook, otherwise called Titty Man. Akeem Song, otherwise called Pooper. Jovain Thomas, otherwise called Little Pops. Donovan Rowe, I might be telling about him earlier on today. Ashley Williams, otherwise called Kim. Raheem Break Cambridge, otherwise called Break Cambridge. Oman Daly, otherwise called Oho. Alan Brown, otherwise called Lando. Ronaldo Phipps, otherwise called Fry Eye. Shamar Gilbert, otherwise called Tender. Courtney Wright, otherwise called Macrill. O'Neill Stewart, otherwise called Nero Blacks. Anthony Clark, otherwise called Delhi. Gerald Douglas, otherwise called Ready Ready. Yes, people, ready, ready, still left on the list. Mr. Boy, I get to that point. Anthony Matthews, otherwise called Little Man. Shamel White, otherwise called Gov. Shalanda Matthews, otherwise called Cinco. Shane Price, otherwise called Spain Man. Romario Brown. Joe Barrett. Baba, Five Shot, Mikey, and Lollipop. Police, one thing gonna need for you. I'm a tough man. People who look for them, are you One thing gonna need for you to cut the police, them not do it. So my as well, who not do it? Kill them all and At that me attack boat. Me now have no for my pity or sympathy for criminal and them family. None whatsoever. All of them deserve to go underground. So what I said that I mean what I said people I mean now take it back. Who knows you the crime rate high? Even though the JCF statistics is wrong. Yes, it is wrong, 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 wrong. Cause I kill them dead. Some of the man them who them I look for where them claims they gone cross the border. Them men was a shallow grave them in a. Some of them get chopped up and dash in a sea. And some of them.
Mr. Man that own the funeral home, do not look at things to them. Remember, remember, God, I know exactly what I talk about. I don't know the man that I talk about to cause an involvement in that type of business. Look how I write him in the comment section so people know the business now, too. Anyway, let me tell the people that I go on. The number of persons murdered so far this year inches closer to 1,500. Like I said, we passed that figure long, long time. The latest figure from the Jamaica Constabulary Force shows that 1,442 persons have been murdered since the start of 2022. This represents an increase of 2.6%. Look how many tell in a long time say, yo, the crime going up, 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 and away, 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 away. And yet still them come with a about this and that down. Them could have fooled nobody can me. Did I give you a ball to ball commentary right through? The latest homicide figure called for the period January 1st, 2022 to December 12th. At this time last year, the constabulary had recorded 1,405 murder. 37 more people has been murdered so far this year when compared to the corresponding period in 2021. The JCF is also reporting a total of 4,765 serious crimes. The top five police division recorded for murders are St. James, Westmoreland, St. Catherine North, St. Catherine South, and St. Andrew South. Yes, people. The St. James Police Division recorded the highest number with 193. Other two more compared to the 151 killed in the corresponding period last year. Both the Westmoreland and St. Catherine North Police Division each recorded 137 murder in St. Catherine South, 109 people were killed. The JCF also reported that 127 homicide fell fire this year in St. Andrew South Police Division. Of the five, St. Andrew South, St. Catherine South have experienced a reduction in murder. For St. Andrew South, there was a reduction of 21% with 30 few fewer murder this year. Similarly, in St. Catherine South, homicide are down 15.5% with 20 fewer murders. The Portland Police Division continued to experience the lowest murder rate with the latest tally at 11. Meanwhile, according to the statistics, other major crimes such as robbery have increased. Remember the people them out to work now, you understand? So, people can go in and them house go rob things. Then again, man, I rob anywhere these days. The JCF said 872 robberies have occurred to date. That's 144 more when compared to the corresponding period last year. However, shooting and rape has declined. Anyway, people, the Suwagwan Power go on. We cannot continue this next year, you know. You understand? We need to do something about it. So, what I said, I mean, what I said, I'm not nah, taking back. Don't want to sit down and feel like a jinx me a jinx it. No, 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 no. Me just attack it short. You understand? Me want better for your country. Just as how, me want to hurry up and find a boy and slap him away. Police are seeking a man who allegedly chopped his 42 year old partner to death and wound another woman who had attempted to intervene. The incident happened in Bull Bay, St. Andrew at about 8.30 pm on Friday night. The deceased has been identified as Sonia Campbell of Version Gully in Bull Bay. Report reaching on news that Campbell was at home when she got into a dispute with her common law partner. The man allegedly began to chop her all over her body. Another woman who was at Campbell's home attempted to intervene and was chopped as well. Sometimes you see people business and leave it alone, you understand? People may have to talk it short. Me can't see somebody I get chopped up and run going night. You're mad. You know, see me I get chopped too. Both women were taken to the hospital. And guess what, people? Campbell was taken to the morgue. You understand? And other woman who tried to help her, she was admitted in serious condition. As soon as we find out what I go and fear, me I go tell you no. Just as so, this up right now, I'm here.